Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Knights of Pen and Paper 2. So, oh shoot. Oh wait, good. It's not actually showing my Steam key in the corner, which is nice. Anyway, uh, so Knights of Pen and Pen Paper 2 is the sequel to Knights of Pen and Paper uh, 1. And then there's the Plus One Edition, and now there's this. Now, I will say, first and foremost, this is actually a mobile port. This game was originally made for uh, iOS and Android, and is still there. I believe it's five bucks. Uh, it's pretty much the same game. I think maybe slightly less content. I don't think there's a cash shop, but it could be wrong. Uh, but, so if you want to give this game a go, you're probably going to want that one. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get started. I, I can talk about the differences at some point. I mean, mainly, you really just get a much more, like, robust experience this way. Because it's not on a tiny little screen. But, uh, well, let's give it a go. So, for those of you that don't know, these games are made by the same people that made, uh, Chroma Squad, actually. Oh, once upon a time, in the world of Paperos. Paperos. That's supposed to be like a Westeros reference. Oh, hey, I can press... I, I have to click to continue. I thought I had to wait. Yeah, I, I believe it's made by the people that make Chroma Squad anyway. I could be wrong on that one, but I think it is. It's got the same visual style. And I thought I saw originally when I saw Chroma Squad, I was like, yeah, nice and pen and paper. Anyway, uh, let's see. Once upon a time in the world of Paperos. Yeah, I have my dice ready. I see you imported your old character into my campaign as well. This is my level 99 paper knight. I have played in another campaign. Well, we better skip all the noob stuff. Remember that you can always find help in the player's handbook. Steam Flats. Enter the Tarrasque, the most dreadful creature in existence. Its skin deflects even magic missiles. I'm loving this adventure already. Tarrasque. What the fuck? My endgame content. You not summon Tarrasque now. Be quiet, minion. I changed the script. My character has plus 255 damage versus Tarrasc. Auto lethal, immunity to all, vorpal strike, ethereal muscles, permanent haste, oh, permanent haste, rust proof, life suck, global silence, frontal backstab. Tarrasc. T-L-D-R. Alright. Uh. Uh. Stupid munchkin. Well, I guess we sword him a bunch. Ooh. Apparently that does a lot of damage. Uh, what is, what is this? What does any of this do? I don't know. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants, I guess. Is this game... It is turn-based, right? Click the enemy or the sword icon to attack. Yeah, I thought so. It is turn-based. Oh, well, whatever he said, I missed it. And the Torosk is gone. Whoopsie! Uh, I forgot to equip my lasso of anti-rage quit. There goes my AXP. Hey! That's a second edition character. We have to make a first edition character for you. No! I'll never downgrade to the first edition. But I like the first edition. Fine, I'll play with my other friends. Choose two chairs to add two players. So we can have a rocker. A, oh, wait, this is a rocker dwarf warrior? <laughs> what? Cheerleader dwarf? <laughs> what? So I've never actually played the first one. So I don't really have a whole lot of like, um frame of reference for this series. I wanted to get into it, but I just haven't had the time. However, now we've just got this nonsense. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have the, uh, I think I'm gonna have a rocker dwarf, just because this seems pretty fun. Let's see, we get, uh, heavy metal. You, no energy penalties from equipment, damage reduction, threat. Yeah, this seems like a good plan. Let's see, what other races are there? Human elf dwarf, and warrior, cleric, paladin, thief hunter. Honestly, if we're going to be a rocker, we should have horns. I like this character. Okay. So what can I do with the... Can I... Can't do anything with the sats? Okay. Uh, looks like we're good to go. On this guy, can I name him at all? Guess not. Dwarf rocker of the class warrior. Yes. Live and let die. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was thinking of a... Goth. Oh, resurrecting this player is free. <laughs> um. So what can the paladin do? It's sort of a heal. Okay, why don't we why don't we go with the cleric? Why don't we go with the dwarf? I don't know if I'm gonna go with goth on this one. Honestly, cheerleader seemed pretty... <laughs> 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 
pretty great. Uh, what's human look like? Nope. So really, it's just like facial hair. Okay, what else do we got here? I guess realistically, we probably want something like Lab Rat. Or Hipster. What's this one do? Shop items become available earlier. Extra trinket slot. I mean, we need this... Probably, because body is not super useful, I think. I mean, goth is funny. What does this change the other stats to? Okay, so hit, uh, th hipsters have a higher threat. Okay, we'll make them a lab rat. I mean, it makes them look pretty doofy to begin with. What about the other classes we have available? Yeah, cleric it is. And do we want to be a dwarf? I mean, human has the extra mind stat. Oh, here we go. Let's take a look at this, for example. So, fortitude gives them a damage reduction of two. Elf, energy plus 20. Human, uh, begin the game with one skill point. Fine. We'll not have a party of dwarves. We'll have a human lab rat. Cleric. Hello, world. Okay. Hold on to your dice. Roll, there's a flash of light, and your characters find themselves in a small village. This is exciting. The village elder greets you. Welcome to Spawn Point Village. The market leader in the adventurer generation business. I'm glad to see that you got here in one piece. There's been something wrong with the summoning circle lately. One young man came out horribly disfigured. He disappeared into the woods, and has not been seen since. What's she talking about? For some reason, the summoning fails every third time. Sometimes even more often than that. You mean we could have appeared here without arms or a head? Ha! Ah, your adventures, right? Before you've recovered from your summoning sickness, you were attacked. Paper Gangster. My, my, my! Look at what I found! Some newcomers. Should we teach them a lesson? Like a tutorial? Yikes! Tutorial! Alright, let's see if the tutorial's any good. I'll start. If I get a critical hit, I'll cause more damage and inflict condition. Hey, nice hit. You inflicted the poison condition. It can be removed with a successful roll. I don't know how much I'm going to be voice acting here. We'll see. Anyway, poison removed. Now I'll hit you back. Ha, ah, you can't. I'm in the back row, behind the others. Alright, so we've got fist and we've got shield. Also consumables. Well, uh, choose an enemy target. Let's beat up uh, this guy, he looks... sassy. Since my turn or- uh, Since my turn order is three, it's my turn to attack. I'm more likely to hit the character with higher threat. Threat can be found in the character sheet. Ouch, that hurt. It seems you have a carrot that I'd use in your situation. Okay, so we've got health and energy regeneration. Do we use that on the cleric? I, you, I don't know, whatever. Wait, something's wrong, I feel dizzy. B2, plus nausea. Oh no, clash of additions. I hate it when this happens. Oh God, well, uh, broke the game guys. That's called a terrain effect. You can check the effects by pressing the button at the top right of the corner of the screen. Clash of additions. Immediately teleport away all second edition ears, such as the paper gang. Did our tutorial just explode? All right, that was interesting. Well, um, now what? Did I click on anything? Oh, here we go. Well, let's rest first. Okay, got that taken care of. Uh, we could fight. Let's talk to him. Choose quest. Slay monsters and gain 50% more experience. Giant rat population. Let's start it. The Paper Night Gang is transforming the world of Paperos by a strange magic we do not understand. They are plunging the world into chaos. Wow, that's bad. Or is it? Stop them before they grow too strong and you will gain the everlasting gratitude of Paperos. That's nice. And a huge pile of gold. Well, what are we waiting for? 
Let's go find the bad guys. Before you go, could you do a little favor for us? Giant rat population is our finest attraction, but the Paper Knight gang set the village full of rat traps. Save our precious rats and save us from going bankrupt. In this fight, there's a new escape button on the combat menu. With it, you can chicken out of combat if it seems too difficult. Well, we're not gonna run from the rat traps. And remember that you can find useful stuff in your player's handbook. Save our precious rats. Kill seven rat traps in one or more battles to start uh, to continue quest. Well, let's start it up. Uh, oh, hey, I can increase. Nope, I can't. This is, I guess, just. Oh, I see. Click on a monster to remove. Uh, remove it. So I can increase the number of rat traps. Eh, should be easy enough. Maybe you should. Oh, maybe you should roll die tenth. I don't know. Whatever. So when do I get to know if it's my turn or not? Also, what are these numbers? Oh, that's their initiative. I see, that's how it works. So we can chicken out, or we can, uh, grab battle. Uh, there we go. Yep, problem solved. Now, when do we get our abilities? I do not know. But yeah, they're just rat traps. Who comparatively was kind of a lame character, ultimately. But I think that's because they took his weapons away half the time. I don't know. Beast Wars, most people might not get that reference, I don't know, it's kind of an old show at this point. Alright, 188 XP for the party, enemy quantity bonus plus 72. Lettuce, health and energy regeneration plus 5. And everybody levels up. Okay, uh, so we got one point we can put into. Oh, uh, so we can get repost. Threat plus 1, automatically counterattack with 54% uh, damage on a successful senses roll. Pommel strike, attack with extra damage and stun. Uh, power lunge. Attack target with extra damage, gain one threat until the end of battle, can target back row, and cleave. Attack a row of enemies. Let's go with cleave. Okay, and what's he got? Divine Judgment. Target takes damage. I want to go for a heal if I can. Restoration? There we go. Oh, he's human, so we already he gets two. Uh... We'll get purge as well. I think. Okay. Because, yeah, he, since he was human, he got extra points. Oh, well, that works. Uh, let's see. Everybody's full health, so... Can I just... Add five more again? Yeah! Might as well go for the extra experience. Okay, so first and foremost, he's got nothing but heals. Let's take out the front row. I wish you could see on the right side of the screen the turn order going by, just because... Okay. I don't know. I, I guess it would just make planning a little bit easier. Not particularly important, though. How do I... There we go. I don't think I have weapons yet, so that's a bit confusing, but still. Okay, so we get more experience, more gold. And they level up again. Handy. Okay. Uh, power lunge. Anybody in the back? What's leveling this one up to? Don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with Repose since it's a passive move. And that's a fairly good thing. Of course, his senses roll is kind of low, but whatever. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. And you. Uh, so why don't we actually go with Radiance? Maybe? What's this? He's got a lot of energy. Yeah, let's go with it. We'll at least put one point into that for the time being. Okay. Uh, quest. Gotcha! Back in business. You should visit our shop to get yourself some adventuring gear. It's the icon with the gold purse. Quest done! Yay, we get some experience and some more gold. Okay, where's the, where's the purse? I don't see an Oh, here we go. Okay, so we need... He's got a hatchet. One damage, one threat. Do they both only have hatchets? I don't know. Anyway, uh, oh, no, 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 no. This is the hatchet that we're currently looking at. So these guys have literally nothing. Okay, so we've got 24 gold. What do we want to do? Uh, we've got stun, wound, weakness. Well, let's get the hatchet for this guy. There we go. Shields are going to be expensive. 
Armor is going to be expensive. I guess realistically, I probably should have maybe considered buying the staff for him or something. Maybe? I don't know how necessary that was would be, though. Actually, you know what? Let's buy the staff for the lab rat. Just because. It's a zero threat weapon. There we go. And he can wield it. Oh, yeah, and it's a two-handed weapon. That's fair. Okay. Uh, oh, trinkets and consumables. I didn't even think about these. Threat initiative, extra EXP, extra energy, threat minus one. Okay, this is cool. I'm digging this th thus far, so I can only get something with a a four. So why don't we why don't we actually buy him the loincloth? Can't believe I'm buying him a loincloth. Uh, this gives him a plus one initiative, which is useful seeing as he does an AOE. Okay, can we just do... Oh, we can just do another battle. Well, let's see what other quests we have. Polluted River. Travel to a specific place. Hello, heroes. Can you help us a bit? Lately, our pristine river has begun to stink horribly, and the famous traveling craftsman is on his way to our village. Everything must be perfect when he arrives. Maybe there's something wrong with the river? I added a travel icon so you can visit the meadows or any other place anytime you want. Investigate what's wrong with the water. Uh, go to the meadows to continue the quest. Sure. Hey, traveling time. To the meadows. It cost me money. Son of a... All right. Fine. Let's just beat the tar out of a bunch of rat traps again. Walk in the park. Okay. So we might as well just use this. Take out the front row right off the bat. He doesn't have anything. Easy peasy. And I can just click these. Yeah! Alright, and that should give me a little bit of cash, right? Yeah, not gold. Okay, so we're hardly injured. How much is resting? Not much at all. Oh, but it does get them their SP back, so that's actually important. Okay, let's travel. Why does it cost money to travel? I don't know. And we, uh, since I got the Deluxe Edition, I apparently get a Pegasus. Alright, that's some kind of weird... Copal creature that dies in one hit! Alright, well, why not? We're here. Now where? Oh, hey, we can camp if we want to. What's that? Rise and shine. I have no idea what that means. Okay. Tro troglodytes are bathing in the river. The water bubbles, and they seem to be having a lot of fun. Hey, stink faces. Get out of the water. You're polluting the river. Relax, fellas. Come along. Shall we? Certainly not. Interrupt the troglodyte bubble party. Kill two troglodytes in one or more battles to continue the quest. Battle! Uh... Fuck it! Let's try! Walk in the park! I hope death isn't a problem. Alright. Oh, well, these guys might actually be a little bit tougher than I thought. Uh, let's kill this one. Nah, this will be fine. More EXP for me. Plus, we got a Healy move. And Riposte saved, saves the day, or at least makes it a lot easier. He's almost out of AP, though. Uh, why don't we do... Why don't we do a restoration on him? There we go. And it looks like they generally go for the character with the most amount of threat. Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. Probably actually should have gone for the dude with the, uh... Most amount of hit points with the warrior, but I don't think it's a problem, especially because we gave the cleric the higher damage weapon. Yay! So we got nine gold and a red handkerchief, which is a plus one threat. And we got uh, extra experience for being extra violent. So, what do we want to do? Pommel strike? Uh, repost ain't bad. I like passives, but I guess we don't get more of them. I, I do kind of hope you can get, like, more perks than just these along the way, but I doubt it. I like the idea of the repost, though. Buffing that up. Let's let's level up Klee for the time being. Uh, four percent more damage for extra energy cost. No, let's level up Repost for the time being. Okay, and you've got Divine Judgment, Purge. What will this do? Not Restoration. What about Radiance? Just two energy per skill use. Yeah, that's going to be useful. I don't think he needs any extra cleaning. Okay, turn in the quest. Uh, go to Spawn Point Village to continue the quest. 
Uh, you know what? Let's fight, let's fight some more troglodytes, just for a little while longer. We've already killed all of them, but we might as well do a second one, just for some extra cash. Okay, uh... Oh yeah, and since we leveled up, it's no problem. Might as well wipe them out with a... Dang it. Wish she critted the first one. Not a big deal, though. Looks like they're also mainly aiming for the cleric. Maybe not. But yeah, I, I like I like this combat. Hopefully there's like more more abilities or something. Cause just just because I can see this game being really fun with like a really, really deep character customization tree and stuff like that. I don't know if that's the case though. That's the one problem with it being a mobile port. Anyway, 300 experience, we got a bunch of junk. Okay. Now let's camp. I don't know what that die roll is. Well, either way, let's uh, let's go back to town. Which costs me money every single time I do, and safe travel. Cool, okay. Oh. Hello. Wait, that is totally just Jamie Heineman. Uh, I can't, I can't do the walrus talk. Hello, I have traveled many days and I'm in need you know, of refreshments. Here you are, fresh and pristine water for our special guest. All right, so we get some extra stuff, and he's gone already. Well, never mind. Hey, we leveled up again. So I'm just gonna keep throwing points into repose, seeing as that's actually useful. And I'm gonna see if I can get his uh, senses die up a lot higher than it currently is. Okay, and let's see. So what's this? What's leveling up this one do? Three extra health, no extra conditions. Sure, why not? Uh, party heal seems kind of useful. Okay, so next up, we've got 30 gold. What can we buy? Uh, we could get a sword, we could get armor. Sword, axe, warhammer. Uh, is there a way of telling if it's two-handed or not? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, so damage to, threat to, stun, damage to, threat for, okay. For the time being, let's just buy another axe. Can he dual wield? He can dual wield. Ooh, I like. We're gonna need more money, though. Uh, let's see. Well, what quest do we have next? We got Derp, Fetch Apples, New Kids in Hurdle. Okay. Uh, Fetch Apples. What? Hello there. Could you help me get some apples? Err, a villager in need of apples. Surprising. I'm a vegan, and suddenly mad for apples. There's a lot in the roadside orchard near Meadows, please? Oh, well, why not? The lady is in need of apples. Go to the meadows to continue the quest. And I should have enough money to travel. Yes, good. Picturesque meadow and a uh, place of great ancient battles. Safe travel. Okay, quests. Lady is in need of apples. Uh, battle. Uh, never mind. I don't think we want to fight that many snakes. Let's fight, let's fight three. I think this should be good. Of course, they have the initiative advantage, but I can I can do cleave. We got heal. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. The music seems to be pretty good. I'm digging that thus far. I'm digging I'm digging this game a lot actually. It's 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 simple, but it I mean it's got the same charm as far as I'm concerned as uh, Chroma Squad did. Which is nice, that's, that's a good system. It's got great pixel art, and I mean, realistically, it's kind of a nice D&D simulator. I'm impressed. And uh, the quality is pretty good, the music is nice. Uh, it made the transition from mobile to PC particularly well, as far as I'm concerned. And overall, I mean, this is a nice, just kind of time time wasty thing. Oh, we've been attacked during our sleep. That's okay. It's not really a concern for me, especially with proposed. Hell yeah. Plus, getting attacked during my sleep, not really a concern for me. I mean, we healed anyway. And we get some extra experience. Winner is you. Yay. Okay, let's fight. Let's fight three Vipers again. Because more than that, eh, yeah, we could probably fight four. They're a bit concerning, but honestly, like, how much energy does this even cost me? 
I, it doesn't really say. Oh, 10 energy for 12 healing. That's actually surprisingly bad uh, efficiency. Oh, well. Note to self, consider buffing Cleave's damage a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I don't know how much... Yeah, let's just heal him. I don't actually know how much it costs to, like, revive a character, or what the penalties even are. Oh, well. Okay, so he's been... Poisoned, but that's not a problem. We got we got this under wraps, pretty much. Let's just do Cleave to take him out. One, one snake left. And we'll just keep doing this party-wide heal. Ooh, which is expensive. You know what, let's just do, like, a normal heal. We'll heal through the poison for the time being, it barely does damage anyway. And then we can just rest. Yeah! Alright, and that should actually complete the quest for me. Yay! So, as long as you don't fail this roll, you don't get attacked at night. Makes sense. Ready for action. Ah, uh, let's see. So we could keep fighting, or we could uh, go turn in the quest. Oh, collect one green apple on monster drops to continue quest. Okay. Well, let's add four snakes again. Some like it rough. Okay. I'm digging this game. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. This would be a very good kind of like after stressful, relaxy game to play. Like, say, after playing Mushroom 11 or The Coma or pretty much any of the other like series that I've started lately that are, you know, really quite stressful and not, uh, not easy on the, uh, for, for the weak willed. I guess weak willed isn't exactly it, but you know, this, this game's just kind of like a, yeah, yeah, just do whatever you want. Just, just go kill snakes for a while. Hell, I could probably just grind my way to freedom. Hey, we just got four green apples and a level up. Okay, so we should probably level up cleave for extra damage. And let's level up restoration. Oh, wow, yeah. So now it's 11 energy for just 24 HP. That's totally worthwhile. Okay, and we got plenty of apples, so let's turn in the quest. And we should have some money for some extra trinkets and stuff. So, uh, quests. When you two come back, there are two people giggling with each other. You'll never believe this, but I met a reptile and it gave me a red apple. Was this all for nothing? Hmm. Well, we'll eat them by ourselves then. Fruit salad. Green apples have good nutritional value. I bet they're tasty too. Boring. Loincloth party! <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so we got another no we got another loincloth for the dwarf. Can I just shove more loincloths on? Yes. This doesn't make any sense. But we've done it, so whatever, who cares? Okay, so obviously we probably want to buy some armor for the dwarf. Uh first and foremost. I don't know what we're gonna do apart from that. Uh That leaves me 13 gold. So let's take a look at trinkets for a second. Ooh, there's a bunch. Some of these are actually important. Like, uh, the wand would be... mad useful. What are these? Health, energy, health, energy, extra gold. It's not much extra gold, though. Like, the extra gold items, I think, will be much more useful later on in the game. Right now, not so great. So we can get a grand total of maybe leather bracers if we really want to. I mean, you know what? We could just get... I'm just gonna keep decking out the dwarf for the time being, just because he seems to... I mean, he has the highest threat. Uh, this way, we might as well just stack him up. Okay, so, I think we're at a great stopping point. It's 29 minutes in, and I should be able to give my basic first impressions of this, of this game. So, first and foremost, I recommend getting the mobile version if you... Uh, if you do want to pick up this game, just because, uh, honestly, portability is a very important thing, and honestly, like, you're probably going to get largely the exact same experience that I'm currently getting, but, you know, you don't have to be shackled to a computer. Uh, that said, I do think this is a great mobile port, and if you are adverse to mobile and you want to pay the extra $5 to get the PC version, I would say it's worthwhile. Um, just at this, like, it would still be worthwhile. Just because this game is, it's fun, it's charming, it's, it's got, I mean, it's, it's generic, but it's, that's not a bad thing. This would be a great game to just mess around with while you're waiting for a video to render or waiting for somebody else, or if you're just kind of sitting around and watching TV and you don't really want to do something apart from having like a busy game. 
this is in. And you know what? That's totally okay with me. I think, I think it's actually quite a nice product. And I'm looking forward to getting more classes and stuff and seeing, you know, how much deeper the rabbit hole goes. Because I'm hoping you unlock more moves and stuff like that. I don't know, can't promise it. Either way though, the game is $10, it's currently not on sale, there is no launch sale of any kind. And I think that's a fair price. I don't know how long these games are, but it's a fairly good pre pedigree, it's a very good publisher. And, I don't know, it's a fairly, fairly good product. And I guess you can pay an extra $15 for like the soundtrack and some like a cosmetic pony when you're going between, uh, you know, various locations. Honestly, it's probably not worth it unless you really wanted to get your hands on the soundtrack. I think there's like one or two other perks. I don't know, you can weigh, weigh it, but it's probably not... Oh, and the music stops if I alt tab. Goody. Uh, but, you know, up to you. Either way though, I like this game and I'm probably going to continue playing it. So, with that, if you guys liked this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And, if you want to see more, uh, leave a comment below letting me know, and hit subscribe, because I'm probably going to keep playing this one, but at the very least, I'm going to keep doing indie impressions videos. Uh, just because, well, that's what I do, and they're a lot of fun. So, I will see you guys on the next episode of Knights, and Pen Knights of Pen and Paper 2. And as always, thanks for watching.